Sorry, wrong house. Just kidding. Welcome to Bel Air. You're probably looking at this house thinking we're in Bel Air, Los Angeles, but we're actually in Bel Air, Calgary. The rundle stone exterior, which comes straight from the Canadian Rockies, gives it away. Bel Air has a reputation for being one of Calgary's most sought after neighborhoods. It's surrounded by the Calgary Golf and Country Club, the Glenmore Reservoir and Elbow River Valley. And this house is no different. When you find out all that it has to offer, it will be one of the most sought after homes in Calgary as well. It sits on an oversized 81 by 168 foot lot and has all the exterior features and creature comforts you'd expect of a modern home. Snowmelt system in the driveway, three car garage with heated epoxy flooring, LED landscape lighting, three water features, automated irrigation system, and the list goes on. And the interior, it's dramatic with extensive millwork, custom built-ins, 14 skylights, and folding glass doors that blur the boundaries between indoor and outdoor living. You need to see it to believe it. So, chop chop, it's showtime. The sheer magnitude of this foyer is just jaw-dropping. The double height ceiling is 22 feet high. And that's not even the best part. The entire front entrance is just one massive 22 foot wall of glass flooding the space with natural light. See what I mean? And if that's not enough, this wall is covered in one gigantic mirror, which reflects even more light, creating one big open space. Not to mention a well-appointed chandelier hanging from a very intricate coffered ceiling. It's just the cherry on top, no pun intended. Dual glass doors separate the home office from the rest of the main floor area. Just like the rest of the main floor, you get oversized 10 inch plank white oak engineered hardwood floors. You also get a custom built oak credenza, designer wallpaper and sliding glass doors that give you direct access to the outside without having to leave the office. Next to the office is this expansive formal dining room with extensive millwork on the walls and ceiling, a matching custom built hutch, and a wall mural made of bronze, silver and gold leaf by artist Anna Crop. Over here, this feature wine wall is furnished with Vintage View wine racks straight out of Colorado. For those of you who don't know, Vintage View modernized wine cellar design by developing the first label forward wine racking system in 2001. This wine wall has a 192 bottle capacity. And while most walls have swinging doors, this one is setting its own trend with sliding glass doors. Now, despite this home having a very open layout, there is separation created between the front of the house and the back of the house using some ingenious design. You see, the foyer, home office and dining room make up the front of the house, while the kitchen and living areas make up the back of the house. And while there is no actual wall barrier specifically built to separate the front from the back, there are structures that serve different functions, but their strategic location allows them to serve as a separation as well. What are these structures, you ask? The first is this floating staircase. And the second is this wine wall, whose primary purpose is wine storage. If you think about it, those two structures serve their own purpose individually, but together they form a separation between the front of the house and the back of the house to maintain privacy in the kitchen and living areas. 
oak mill work continues on the opposite side of the Y wall and is complemented by matching accents and framing around this 65 inch TV. This 54 inch Napoleon fireplace with a marble tile surround adds a touch of warmth to the space. An abundance of windows reinforces the theme of allowing in natural light. With that said, when there's this many windows, privacy is just as important. And Q-Motion blinds installed throughout the house and operated by the Control 4 Smart System gives you the privacy you need when you need it. Over here is a second living area which can act as a breakfast area depending on how you choose to furnish it. Then there's this kitchen, which is a statement in and of itself to say the least. It's almost entirely made of only three materials, which individually seem very simple, but collectively they blend together seamlessly to create this masterpiece. you have grey lacquer cabinetry. Then there's white oak which makes up the wood cladding and the islands. And finally there's Decton which makes up the countertops and backsplash. Now let's talk about Decton a little bit because it's very different from any stone that you've seen in any of the homes I've toured so far. Decton is actually an engineered stone made up of porcelain, quartz and glass. It's made by Spanish-based manufacturer Cosentino. And what really sets Decton apart from any other stone, be it natural or engineered, is its durability. It resists abrasion, staining, heat, chipping, you name it. In fact, Decton is so durable that Cosentino not only recommend it for indoor use, but they recommend it for outdoor use as well. The color of this Decton is called Bergen Gloss. Inspired by natural portobello stone, it has grayish veining that creates a sculptural pattern on an off-white base. The amount of Decton used in the fabrication of the islands is a true testament to its strength and durability. The first of which is the two-tier island where Decton makes up the breakfast bar portion of the island in its entirety. And the second of which is this 16-foot island which I can't even begin to describe. It looks like Decton makes up the top of the island and the base of the island with the cabinetry sandwiched in between. And by the looks of it, there are no visible points of contact between the base of the island and the floor, so it looks like the island is floating in midair. The lighting does a great job of underscoring the defining features of this kitchen, be it the floor accent lighting, the pendant lighting hanging above the islands, or even the recessed lighting in the ceiling. Last but not least, but equally as important, are the appliances. Sub-zero panel fridge and freezer, two wolf ovens, microwave, wolf six burner cooktop with griddle, Falmec Italian range hood with integrated lighting and a Blomberg dishwasher. Behind the kitchen are two distinct spaces that meet down the middle and open onto the kitchen through here. The first is a pantry with storage cabinetry and a full height freezer and the second is a mudroom connected to the garage. It has a leather bench, storage closets, chevron millwork on the wall and herringbone tile throughout. And now, my favorite part of the entire house. These folding doors blur the boundaries between the indoors and outdoors seamlessly. This is indoor-outdoor living at its finest. Yes, I know this setup may not be best suited for the cold Alberta winters, but not in this case. First off, this outdoor lounge is fully covered to protect you from the elements. There are eight skylights above to allow maximum light through during the day and recessed lighting for nighttime use. 
The tile floors are actually heated, so not only will they keep you warm, but no rain or snow will ever accumulate on them. Torch heaters mounted on the walls that not only provide heat, but provide for an aesthetically pleasing visual as well. And if all those heating sources are not enough, this Dreamcast 72 inch outdoor fireplace will be sure to do the trick. You also get two water features, a fully equipped outdoor kitchen with a Napoleon barbecue grill and a fridge, a master spa eight person hot tub, and of course, LED landscape lighting throughout. pretty much the first floor. But before we go upstairs, can we just take a minute to admire this solid oak floating mono string staircase with dated glass railing. Yep, that should do it. Up we go. Welcome to the second floor. It's composed of two separate wings connected by this bridge right here. Over in that wing are three bedrooms, all with walk-in closets, two bathrooms, one that's ensuite and one that's a Jack and Jill, and finally a laundry room. And over on that side is the master suite, which takes up the entire wing. Let's go check it out. Master bedroom first impressions. It's warm, it's inviting. I love the windows all around, lots of natural light, but you also get to feast your eyes on the year round lush greenery. This 54 inch fireplace with marble tops around and this 65 inch TV add to the whole experience. Picture yourself snuggled up in this bed on a snowy winter night. A winter wonderland on display through these windows. The fireplace on, a mild wine in your hands, and Home Alone is playing on the TV. And for those hot summer nights, simply step outside through this door onto your own private patio for a nightcap. The master closet has it all. Drawers for jewelry, watches, and other small items. Shelves for hats and handbags. A transparent glass wardrobe. A functional center island with drawers for even more storage. Overhead recess lighting to illuminate the space and LED accent lighting. And most importantly, two skylights to bring in ample natural light. And finally, the master ensuite with a his and hers custom vanity, one massive mirror that takes up the entire wall, a heated towel rack, a glass enclosed steam shower with custom two rainfall shower heads and a bench, a standalone soaker tub with two skylights above, and a water closet privately tucked away behind this pocket door. But my favorite part is that you can continue to freely go back and forth between the ensuite and the master closet while getting ready. And once you are, you can exit the master bedroom directly from the ensuite without ever having to disturb your partner. There's one final design element which hammers home the reoccurring theme of natural light in this house. And that's the 10 skylights above me. I cannot stress enough how important natural light is, especially when the days can be short during Canadian winters and there isn't as much sunlight. And yet, this house gets around that brilliantly through its ingenious design that floods the space with natural light while maintaining privacy all at the same time. Now let's go check out the basement, shall we? You're probably well aware by now that basement entertainment is pretty big in Canada, and this house is no different. With the exception of an additional bedroom with its own ensuite, this floor is just one big entertainment center, and it has more TV screens than most homes. You get a 14-foot wet bar with custom millwork, a dishwasher, fridge, wine cooler, and a very cool feature which you don't see very often, Two smart TVs built into the cabinetry so that you can watch your favorite sports just as you would at a sports bar. There's also a recreation area that has a 54 inch fireplace with a stacked stone surround, more custom millwork and a 65 inch TV. 
Over here you get your very own private gym with frameless glass, rubber floors, a mirrored wall and two TVs. And finally, saving the best for last, a professionally designed and built home theatre with all the bells and whistles. And that's it, that is 1028 Bel Air Drive Southwest, a custom built modern architectural masterpiece in the ultra exclusive Bel Air neighbourhood of Calgary. 6,300 square feet over three floors, snowmelt system, fully integrated smart home, wine wall, rec room, gym, home theatre, outdoor kitchen, hot tub, two outdoor fireplaces, three water features, 14 skylights, five bedrooms, six bathrooms, and only some of the most magnificent views of Elbow River Valley and the Rocky Mountains, now for sale for $4.85 million. Now that I have your attention, contact listing agent Gary Field to get your hands on this listing before it's gone. Ready, set, go.